At first I said that I love you and you ain't say that shit back It's kinda hard to just trust you when both your feelings don't match Got me showing less emotions, I don't wanna get attached Once I give you my word Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Elise if you're new and if you're not, thank you so much for coming back. So this is in real time. I don't know if you've noticed but I post every single Monday right now and obviously I'm at college so all those videos are pre-filmed from when I was home over winter break. And even though I get to talk to you guys in the comments, I feel like I haven't really talked to you in a long time. So I'm pausing on the pre-filmed videos this week to chat with you guys and answer a bunch of questions that you had for me while I clean my boots. Because I'm actually leaving for a school competition tomorrow at 4 a.m. and my boots need a good polish. So let's chat and clean. So honestly, I forget what I use at home to clean my boots. It comes in like a pot and you have to use like gloves and stuff. It's really, really good. But obviously I don't have a ton of stuff with me at school, but I do have this little like boot cleaning kit that you can just get at like a tack store. So we're going to use this and make do. I asked on my YouTube like community page to ask me some questions for this video. So if you're not, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications because you'll get notified one, when I post videos, two, when I post shorts, and three, when I post things on the community page like this, and you have a chance to have your comment or whatever I'm asking featured in a video. So a big question that people were asking is like what the deal is with my school and if I ride on a team or not, because obviously I post literally everything about my life online, um, especially when it comes to horses. So the fact that I'm saying I'm on a team and I don't post any videos about it or show it is a little bit confusing. But yes, I am signed to a Division I equestrian team. However, per NCAA rules, I'm not allowed to post videos about it because my YouTube channel is monetized. If you don't know what that means, I get paid to make YouTube videos. Obviously, I absolutely love it, and that's not why I do it, but it has become, like, kind of a little job for me, um, and I can't make money off of an NCA team, if that makes sense. So, for example, I can't post videos of me riding, like, for the team and stuff because I'm making money off of, like, their horses, their trainers, their arenas, um, wearing the clothes they gave me so I can't do that and I know a lot of people are like well if you can't like show stuff you know about like riding can you talk about it and I think when I graduate I will be able to do a bunch of videos talking about it but as of right now I just can't because I am signed to a contract for four years so that's like basically it not that there's like any tea or anything but it's just while I'm signed, I can't. Also, if my boots aren't that dirty, they just need to have some boot polish on. <laughs> so a lot of people actually have asked, not just only on this post, but on like comments of my YouTube videos, whether I count, like when I'm going to a jump, whether I count down like three, two, one, um, or like how I find distances. I honestly don't know how to explain it because I just never have, but for me anyway, I feel like I don't count down. If anything, I like count my rhythm like one, two, three, or at least I used to. I feel like now I ride so much that it kind of just, it's like a natural thing if that makes sense. So like I don't have to necessarily count like to stay on rhythm, I can just feel it. Um, obviously in lines I count like the number of strides like in my head like one two three four five but I don't like count down to a distance if that makes sense it's very hard to explain and I wish I could explain it better but I don't think I can everyone's asking what is the highest you've jumped the highest I've jumped is definitely when I was at international derby finals I don't know exactly how high one of those jumps like were like the high options but they were like well over four foot like I remember standing them buy them and thinking these are like taller than me um obviously they weren't but they were like very very high they were over four foot i'm not exactly sure to be honest another question a lot of people ask is if i plan on riding professionally and i 100 percent do not um obviously i love the sport i love horses i love animals but it's just not something i want to do i'd much rather ride as an amateur and like film youtube videos for you guys than be a professional and have to deal with all the nonsense that comes with that um so no i will not be a professional am i going to get another jumper 
as of right now no um i don't know you know like what the future holds when i'm older older but like not anytime soon not in the next few years just because i'm at college and it's like i already have two horses <laughs> that i still show and ride and it obviously i'm paying for that i don't get to ride very often considering you know like how much you have to do to have show horses and like keep them so it just wouldn't make sense to get a third one however i would love one day to have a jumper i think the jumpers are so much fun so we'll just have to see when i'm older and i make my own money whether i get a jumper a lot of people are asking what my major in school is and it's actually marketing which kind of makes sense because i do a lot of social media so it's like i market myself and that's what i'm learning to do in an amazing world i'd love to be a social media influencer but i just don't quite have that following yet so you never know maybe by the end of college i'll have enough that this can be my job and continue to film like this for you guys so if you have equestrian friends who watch you know other equestrian youtubers please let them know because the hardest part is like getting yourself out there and getting people to click on your videos what are some of your equestrian icks let me think about this for anyone who doesn't know an ick is like something that you're just like ew why would you do that sorry if you can hear people talking in the background i'm in a dorm room so there's people everywhere my first ick is not even an ick it's just disgusting is when people mistreat their horses um or any animals for that matter it's just not necessary two i hate when people blame their mistakes on the horse you're the rider take the responsibility okay i'm not being very good at multitasking so i'm just gonna fire rapid a few questions right now one person asked like what's a good tip for being able to like stay on course if you're on the hunters always follow the flower boxes you just need to know the first jump if you jump the first jump there's only one line you can go to if the flower boxes are facing you if that makes sense um in equitation it's harder like if you're doing jumper courses and stuff because they're all over the place but i think just practice makes perfect so try and memorize a bunch of them at home uh and you'll get good at it my favorite color it's green it always has been and i think it always will be even though my whole room right now is pink it is green a lot of people asked about like main how to get a good equitation position whether it's like your body or your lower legs honestly i struggled so long with an equitation position i didn't start the ek like super super young like a lot of people did i mean like in hindsight it was young but i feel like a lot of people started like when they were like eight or nine which is just crazy but by the time you're 15 it's like they are masters of it so i struggled a lot with it but my trainer you know really helped me perfect it the upper body and the leg it's a lot of like you're gonna have to do it even though it's painful and eventually it won't become painful and it'll just become natural to you that's like the only thing i can really say because there wasn't like a trick like i feel like really my position i only really got a good position within like the last year or two if i'm being honest so it's just practice it's just really forcing your leg to stay where it's supposed to be i mean i still struggle with that so are apple and chino schooled while you're at college so yes my main trainer is at wef right now but there are a lot of other trainers at windsor which is the barn i ride at if you didn't know um who are also at home so they ride my horses while i'm gone and it's just like in place of like the lessons i would have had if that makes sense people also asked about like my riding schedule and how much i ride so when i'm here at college i ride twice a week for the team so like i go there tack up lesson untack clean the horse clean the tack all that stuff when i'm at home i ride about four to five days a week and i ride both of my show horses chino and apple both of those days so i'm getting like eight to ten rides in a week plus last time i was there i helped to ride a bunch of other horses so it just kind of depends on the week but when i'm home i do ride a lot that doesn't always mean i'm jumping i know a lot of people think that i do not jump 10 times a week someone asked i'm about to enter the three six juniors do you have any tips for competing um for instance it's very different from what i've heard than the three threes uh what is different about it other than the height love your channel i love you um I would just say that the 3-6 is a new ball game 
people in the 3-3 are still learning, and don't get me wrong, people in the 3-6 are still learning too, but a lot of them have been in there for a long time. A lot of them have multiple horses in it, and it's just not only obviously the jumps are higher and wider, but people like bring it on a little more. At least that's my experience. Um, not to scare you, but I just think it's a little bit tougher competition to be honest. What is my favorite riding memory that you have as a junior rider? My favorite memory is definitely McClay Regionals 2022. I won regionals in WEF. It's the biggest accomplishment of my life and I will never forget that feeling of like oh my gosh what what is going on I remember asking my trainer like what time is it what time is it and he was like why do you care what time it is like you just won and I was just like like I just didn't think it was real but anyway I haven't made much progress on my boots but I am gonna finish them now but I'm gonna end this video thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed me answering some of your questions and kind of cleaning my boots but not really um I love you all so much and I will see you next Monday but Wait, before you go, if you want to see more of me, make sure you go subscribe to my vlog channel as well. And like I said before, please subscribe to this channel. It means the absolute world to me. I love you all so much, and I will see you next Monday. Bye! Mm -hmm.